The New York Stem Cell Foundation is dedicated to accelerating stem cell research to cure the major diseases of our time. Today, you will lift the ban on federal funding for promising embryonic stem cell research. And we will aim for America to lead the world in the discoveries it one day may yield. You can't count on federal support for science. You might have it, but depending on the administration and the attitudes, it can just disappear. As in the arts with the National Endowment, federal support doesn't necessarily drive innovation and discovery forward. There is nobody else doing what NICEF is doing. I didn't even realize all the diseases that it can help. I didn't know that stem cell research could help cancer. I didn't know that stem cell research um, could recreate bone. I didn't know that stem cell research could help diabetes. The New York Stem Cell Foundation has played a critical role by having a vision of what stem cell research can do for patients, by supporting the development of the field through support of, uh, of uh, fellowships for promising young investigators, by encouraging uh, the scientists in New York to work closely together, by organizing meetings that bring uh, New York scientists and scientists around the country and indeed around the world to come to New York to display their wares and by providing an atmosphere in which uh, stem cell research is encouraged. I believe that the New York Stem Cell Foundation plays a catalytic role and is capable of moving quickly, flexibly, uh, of taking advantage of opportunities very quickly. It can zigzag in and out much faster than the NIH and do so more effectively. Pictures from inside one of these plates. So this is what I found really great about the New York Stem Cell Foundation is the fact that there's no bureaucracy. The possibilities of discovery are just much greater. One of the things I most appreciate about how NICEF supports research is that they're willing to take risks on ideas for which there's no demonstrable reason that it should work, but if it did, there would be a high reward. Commonly say high risk, high reward research. That is not really what the National Institutes of Health or pharmaceutical companies in general do. One of the most important advances in stem cell science in the last few years has been supported by NICEF, and that's the work of Kevin Agin and colleagues where they, for the first time, could show that by using stem cell biology and stem cell techniques, they could model a human disease, in this case, what's commonly called Lou Gehrig's disease or ALS. Uh, Kevin despaired of finding funding for this work. NICEF stepped in, uh, decided that this was a worthwhile project, immediately put money to work, and uh, we have what Time Magazine called the breakthrough of the year. Um, so this was a wonderful example, uh, I like to call it, of the mouse that roared. None of the work would have been possible without the New York Stem Cell Foundation. I just think that's absolutely clear. So this is an enormously powerful tool for discovery of therapeutics for neurodegenerative diseases. And it can, in principle, be applied. ALS, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Huntington's, all of these, in principle, can be addressed in this way. We were so impressed by that finding that we have done it ourselves for a different disease, a disease I most care about, type 1 diabetes. And again, with NICEF support and our colleagues Robin Goland and Rudy Leibel at Columbia, we've now created stem cells from diabetic patients. These are patients who have not made their own insulin for decades. And then in the dish, these fibroblasts, the skin cells, can be induced to become embryonic stem cells and then cells that look like and act like insulin producing cells. These are very important developments because they now permit us to study these diseases at a level and in a way which simply is not possible without the ability to create stem cells from individuals who have these diseases. 
because if we know the mechanism of the disease, that's not just the first step, that's a critical step in then trying to design a medicine to stop it from happening. The New York Stem Cell Foundation Postdoctoral Fellowship Program is a competitive three-year fellowship which provides support for the postdoctoral studies of young, innovative, outstanding scientists who want to enter into the field of stem cell research. I'm using human embryonic stem cells to try to find treatments for injured or diseased bone tissue. To treat patients that have Alzheimer's disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, heart attack victims. To understand how skin cancer develops. To call these young investigators and the NICEF program basically a farm team program for stem cell biology is a very good analogy. And in fact, that's what's happening. These are going to be without question, the leaders in these fields. My goal as a stem cell researcher is to find a, a therapeutic or cure for Parkinson's disease within my lifetime. To vascularize tissue that's dead or dying in the heart. To cure diabetes using stem cells. I don't have to wonder whether or not these young postdoctoral scientists in our program are, are going to be the future stars of the stem cell field because many of them already are. And without the support of NICEF, this simply wouldn't be possible. For the past three years, I've been a NICEF Drakenmiller Fellow, and now I'm very honored to join NICEF as a Helmsley investigator. But more than the financial support, NICEF has really created a network of scientists and it is absolutely invaluable. I was uh, 48 years old, I had this intense pain, and within a half an hour I was paralyzed from the uh, shoulders down. It was an occluded spinal artery which cut off the blood flow. And I still paint with the brushes strapped to my hands, and I spend my waking hours in a wheelchair. Meryl Six, she has had diabetes since she was 15 months old. Um, she's just a regular kid, a normal, ebullient, very smart, perfectly adjusted child who just happens to get her insulin from a pump rather than from her pancreas. It's, it starts as a crisis and it starts as a real shock. We didn't know what it meant, we just knew she had diabetes. My son Sam became diabetic when he was very young, an infant. Some years later, my daughter Emma also came down with type 1 diabetes. It's hard to describe the burden of monitoring an infant's blood sugar levels every few hours, waking up every night for a year and uh, continually measuring blood sugar levels and injecting a baby with insulin. Uh, if one's never done an injection, it might be hard to fathom just how difficult it is, but you can imagine taking a little syringe needle and having to inject it into the thigh of your infant. It's, it's not something you'd wish on anybody. I felt incredibly grateful to have found NICEF at the time that I did. When I met Susan, I, I went right up to her and I just said, I've got a dear friend that I love and, you know, it looks like she might have ALS. And I said, you know, I'll do anything I can to support what you're doing and to learn more about it. Do that is with the flow it empowers me to feel like I'm doing something positive. I support NICEF because it gives me hope that people are working at this very minute on diseases that devastate many lives and many families. The thing I like about the New York Stem Cell Foundation is it says we will only be successful when we develop new medicines and find cures for a disease. And that's why I'm glad to be part of it. Our family supports NICEF both because of the hope for a cure through stem cell research 
for, for my granddaughter Meryl, but also for broader societal reasons. And the thing about NICEF is it's, the, it's at the crossroads, it's the cornerstone of most of what's going to go on in stem cell research. I think this is one area where the potential bang for the buck is probably greater than anything else I can think of. I feel really hopeful about NICEF because I just love to see discovery. I love to see innovation that uh, has a real effect upon people that can truly help them. The New York Stem Cell Foundation team recognizes that we're on the cutting edge and we're capable of great things. The advances that we have made on a limited budget in a short period of time are nothing short of phenomenal. At NICEF, we're really proud of our accomplishments, but we're not done. In fact, we've just begun, and we're gonna work tirelessly until we have the cures that we so desperately need for the people we love. Please help the New York Stem Cell Foundation find cures. Be as generous as you can. You may change the life of someone you love.